you ever go to a barbershop, the brothers, we go in, we bond. It's like a group therapy session. It's real. We, we talk about what's going on with us. Our barber is like our, our, our personal psychologist. He, he listens to us, talks to us, and it's funny. You have a relationship with your barber. Your barber's not there, you coming back again because you need to get a cut from that man. Very personal thing. And our hair, that's, 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 that's a personal thing to us. So the barbershop, for me, it's a, it's, a, it's a therapeutic moment. You go in, your hair's not looking, you know, you need to tighten up. You come back out, you're feeling fresh, feeling fresh, feeling fresh. Just a little man. <laughs> do you like coming to the barbershop? Yeah. Why do you like coming to the barbershop? I like when I go to the barbers and they do my hair because the spray thing smells nice on my hair. Do you like the style? Yeah. Yeah. You think it, you think it makes you look better when they cut your hair? Yeah. yeah? But the best way I think I should have only hair in the middle. <laughs> African-Caribbean barbershop has long been a part of British culture. During the 1980s, Channel 4 hit sitcom Desmond's was the first show set inside the barbershop and provided a unique and realistic depiction of life inside a barbershop. Since then, there's been a number of films and other shows using the same setting. Oh, come on, Popeye. Why don't you give it a go? You might find a facet of your personality you never knew existed. I know all about my facets, thank you very much. <laughs> Every week is some newfangled idea. Now you're telling us just by reading somebody's writing you could tell something about their personality. Last time it was about body language. Ah, oh, that's true, Desmond. Even the way someone sits can tell you a lot about a person's inner workings. <laughs> inner workings are private. And there's nothing wrong with my handwriting. Tell him, Desmond. That's true. Popeye's always been a devotee of the three R's. Mm. Well, Reading, writing, and rhythmic. No, no, no. Rum racing and rum. <laughs> the African Caribbean barbershop plays an influential role in the community in which it serves. The barbershop provides a social setting for many, while it also allows men to exercise their voice and opinion on everyday goings on. It's like almost no other place where a black man can really, you know what I mean, express himself, express himself to the fullest effect with his, with his opinion. What I'm saying is this, yeah? The gel in Ghana, it told you, the gel here, yeah? Not compared. No, this one, the gel here, it's like a cup. Ghana, you go about five men in the same place, yeah? No, it's not hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say what I know. I'm from Ghana, I'm going to get represent it. I'm going to get represent Ghana. And I'm not trying to say that it should be like that. But I'm going to say to you that if you go to Ghana jail for about a, a day or two, trust me, you don't want to go back there again. No, but he's saying that's why people are killing. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, but Ghana, this is what I'm saying. Ghana, yeah, Ghana. But the deal here is soft. This is soft. It's soft. It's soft. What is soft? It's soft. No, no, there's certain jails you can go to, yeah? And it's priority, yeah? When you go to that jail, you have to make sure you make yourself something to protect yourself. Jail's not a joke. You go to jail, you think a jail's soft. But you can't imagine soft. There's certain men in there that are not soft. Because it's more civilized in other countries. It's not about civilization, it's more deterrent. 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 It's more deterrent
Oh, and it don't make you feel when you leave the barbershop. It's, it's lendless. When you leave yes. here, put it this way, when you leave here, you're satisfied in it and you feel good about your hair. Yeah. Put it that way, innit? Like, what about on the social? Like, like, yeah, you can, you can crack joke, you can talk to anyone, anyone. Everyone in here is calm. Everyone's cool. Come in here, crack joke, talk. It's calm. It's a calm barber. It's like a nice environment. Everyone's alright. I think the most talked about subject in the barbershop is. Either football or girls. You know, see what boys see when they talk about. Um, you pick the most talked about subject in the barbershop? Uh, football, you know. Football, women, and I think violence in the community, you know. Yeah. That's what I think, actually. Yeah. As a father, do you think it's important yeah. that you bring your son to the barbershop? Definitely, yeah. Why would you say that? It's going to have that family role, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm. And um, there has to be that kind of like, yeah, there has to be family impact and involvement in his life as well. And um, he needs to pick up those kind of traits as well. Also, the right kind of barbershop as well <coughs> has the right kind of um, the mix and um, the traditions also it's all down to how they do it here as well and what he picks up from it and so it's not just taking him anywhere or the mother taking him anywhere and um, we know the rules about how to have a boy's haircut done you know, the men's way which is very important um, so that is key to me to be, to be honest with you yeah here's 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 it's, just a, it's like it's a barber shop it's more than a barber shop. It's a family, it's a community place. You get me? You don't have to come here for your haircut. Most of my customers, I know them from back in the days. You get me? So they come here, it's love, we have a drink, we chill out, we do everything together. Or well, the same when new customers come in, we do really the same way. So this barber shop is a totally different thing. We're doing something different. Come here, get your haircut, walk in, have a little drink. You know what I'm saying to you, that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying to you, so I've got love for my customers. And I make sure that I try and take my custom, do my customers' hair like I would do my own hair. So I want to treat my customers the way that I like, I expect them to treat me. So that's love. You know what I'm saying to you, that's what I show. So I expect the same thing back. Just another life in the life of a barber. Not easy, it's a hard job. But you gotta know your job. It's been my life since about. 14 years old now, 33, still doing barber work, you know? Yes, you know what I'm saying? I'm old school barber, right? 13 years cutting hair, 30 years. We know about this thing, right? Okay, put my mark up, put my chin right there. See? Sharp. That's what I'm talking about. On the trim, you know where to come. Holla at your boy, rich and rich. You get what you want. Me, yeah. Everything now. Shop. Barber shop, we don't even need to go shopping. We get everything coming to us. We get, we've got money here. We got all, bring all the top designers. Bring all the designers. Everything here. <laughs> Big man, show them, show them what you got, man. Yeah. Alright. You got Ralph. The polar there. Yeah. Polar jumper. Yeah. Shoes. You got the hoodies. The hip hop types. Hip hop, straight up. Right. Cater for all, for all genres here, yeah. you know? So why is it important for you to bring your goods to the barber shop to sell? Because people like barbers and people who work in food shops and things like that, they don't have the time to go out and do their shopping themselves, you know? It's convenient to bring, bring like I say, if you can't take Mohammed to the mountain, take the mountain to Mohammed. Yeah, you, you understand? And that's, and that's what, that's what I'm doing here. That's what I'm doing here. If, 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 if the barber has to go out and do, do his shopping, right, he's losing money. You know? You know? It's all love. It's all love here. It's all love, man. Just the one barber. Just the one barber. Because I like, I, I like the way he cuts my hair. I'm just used to him cutting my hair. He's cut my hair for me for ages now. Barber shop is where you meet people. You meet all type of people. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? So you meet all type of people. It provides a social setting. You understand? For, for, for change of thought, you know? You want to you wanna talk about matters that pertain to you or pertain to, to, to the day, you know? Um, current affair issues, you know? Things like that. This is where you, this is where you come and discuss, discuss it. You, you change thoughts and it, it, it's good, you know? 
It's not just for cutting hair and grooming, you know? Not only grooming, not only for grooming. What's dope about the black barbershops and a lot of people jumped on is the fact that you go to black barbershop, that's like CNN, you get to talk about everything. We talk about everything that's happening in the community, whether it be politics, you know, culture, everything. Everybody voices their real true opinions.